我在卖呼风唤雨，回家规规矩矩，呼吸牺牲自己，消灭紧张空气。我不是没有脾气，只是不发而已。我想我是太过爱你，我为你遮风挡雨，不藏一点秘密。你的手指想动，我绝不敢相信。我不要新鲜空气，只要一团和气。一家人在一起又何必争来争去？谢谢谢谢。What is there to explain, Jinyoung? In order to trick and persuade me, you made this whole plan up. You even invited me to a restaurant. I thought you were good to me. You hypocrite. Huh? Hey. Hey, listen to me. Inviting you to dinner is something I really wanted to do. Can't you tell from the dishes that every dish is your favorite and none of them are mine? Forget about the dinner. Our house is so small, it's tiny. How are we going to live? I thought about everything. I considered every angle for you. We will still live in our room, and my dad will live in his room, and uh, sis will live in the uh, sitting room. We bought a big screen for her, very, very big. You've already bought a screen. Yeah, it's pretty. Is it very nice? Yeah, You've arranged all of it. everything, and I'm the last one uh -huh. to know. Who do you think I am? Your family. Last time, it's Uncle Zhao. Uncle Zhao was sick, and I understood. This time it's your sister. Do you think our home is a hotel, huh? My sister's family too, right? Hey, her maiden name is Jin too. Her, she's my biological sister. I can't drive her out, can I? This is her home too. Fine. Your sister is family. I'm just an outsider, okay? Hey, uh, please, 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 honey, honey. Hey, look, look, I'm begging you, okay? Don't be mad. We just had hot pot, and it's really hot. If you're angry, your face is gonna break out, and you're gonna look terrible. Please think of my sister. Okay, she saved my life when I was a kid. Who jumps into the icy water for us, somebody? Even now, my sister suffers the consequences. Her brain might be damaged too, you know? I didn't say that she can't stay with us. But I just want a little bit of respect. You should have at least discussed it with me first. I'm talking to you right now, right? You're talking right? to me now. Your sister's already moved in. I can't drive her out. Sweetheart, please help me this one time, okay? She's not gonna live here forever. Please do this one favor for me. She's gonna leave. I'm begging you, please. She, I am grateful. Just owe me a big one, okay? Okay, okay? Okay, please? Where are you going? Where is the car? What do you want to do? Going home. Our car's over there, okay? H. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Dad! Dad! You're back. Sis, Hi. tell me you're back. Yes. Oh, this is... This, this is a screen. Oh, I know <laughs> this is a screen. I mean, is this... Oh, show me. Uh-huh. I need to tell you something. Mm, your sister will live here from now on. Huh? <laughs> Sorry about all the trouble, well, she Shelby. knows, she knows. Oh, she, she knows, knows already. I know, I know. What I mean is, sis can't sleep out here. How about this, Dad? Sis and I will sleep in our room. Jin Yang can sleep here. No, 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 no. This, 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 this is not right. I can't split you newlywed. Plus, I'll stay here for a while. Huh? I know. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just being nice. You're, what are you doing? Your sis is so good to you. She saved your life. You should treat her well. Not to mention... Jin Liang is young and strong. He should be sleeping here. <laughs> Don't know, sis. She just wants to make you feel welcome. You know? You know, I just <laughs> think she's family, family, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you, know, you know, Dad, we'll just listen to Dad. Yeah? Right, right. Listen to that, huh? Right. Okay, then, settle. Yeah, settle. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, yeah. She's, I'm she's sorry so cute. about We're this. Okay? Okay. No need. Okay, okay she's uh, so cute. Tell sorry about all the trouble, Xiaomi. <laughs> huh. Look, Xiaomi is so considerate. Does that mean I can stay here? As long as I want, right? Do you really want to sleep with my sis? Really? Get her over here. Go on, go on, go ahead. Don't play me for a fool. That little scheme of yours that you think I don't know? You told me that besides me and your mom, you would never share a bed with somebody else. You said you wouldn't sleep on the same bed with somebody else. Didn't you say that? Now you're playing tricks? I've never met someone shameless as you. I hate mm -hmm. you. That's why I'm not sleeping with you. You hate me? No matter how much you hate me, you're sleeping with me. What's our relationship? We're legally husband and wife, right? You have no choice but to sleep with me. What do you, you mean? You what have do you an mean? obligation. Uh, Tell me what ow. you mean. Uh, uh, Tell me now. Uh, I'm not a prostitute. Ow, ow, ow. Explain. Oh, oh, ow, oh, okay, okay. That, that really hurt. You hit me so hard. It's turning purple. Good, you deserved it. Okay, you can refuse to sleep with me, but you can't murder me. Hey, you asking for more, okay, huh? Okay, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I know that you're a really sweet and innocent girl, okay? I hope you understand what I said today. In the future, the four of us, dad, sis, you, me, we'll live together, okay? All right? She's already here, what else can I say? <sighs> I'm telling you, if you do anything like this behind my back again, I will kill okay. you. Okay, okay, no, no, I promise, no way. about the interview I asked you to do about Chi Chi. Oh, Chi Chi's so busy. I called her many times and she has no time. Um, she said I have to wait a while longer. Do not be smart mouth. Why don't you just do what I want you to do? I'm not being a smart mouth. <laughs> I don't know how to be a smart mouth. Well, forget about it. I'll let someone else to do it. Really? I am golding you. It has to be you. You. You have to. Don't make me repeat it again. I'm warning you, Xiaomi. Take the job, love the job. If you hate it, leave. Listen up, yo. Not just her, including me. Why? Uh, I need to work, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Don't be repeated again. <laughs> Don't be repeated again. <laughs> hey, yo, what's up? My name is Xiao Bai. Don't force me to repeat it again. My motto is that if you really want me to try, you better give me some respect, yo. You are such a good rapper, uh, uh, but now it's time for you to work, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you keep doing this, not only will you be criticized by Mu Bang, you'll be starved to death. What's our job? We write for a living. But look at you. In the past month, you haven't finished a single story. What do you want? I don't know how you're going to survive. Do you want to spend your life living with your parents? Who said I'll just stay with my parents? I would rather earn a bit less, spend a bit less, 
than writing those stories, those stupid gossips and boring scandals. Fine. You're honorable. Why don't you just quit? I wanted to quit ages ago. What do you mean? Say it. I want a new job. Hmm? But where? Keep it down. Hey, me shall me. Why did you not talk about it with me? It's a big deal. <sighs> what is there to talk about? Changing jobs is not a big deal. <gasps> you keep it to yourself, okay? Uh, I won't, I won't. Oh, come on, tell me which company you like. I'll tell you when the deal is done. Are you my friend or not? You know you can tell me anything, right? Okay, just stop pushing me, okay? I promise I'll tell you everything eventually. I have to call Titi tomorrow, or Muban will lose it. <laughs> Okay, the patient's really special. So I want 24 hour monitoring, man. The first class monitor. <laughs> okay, I know I'm not Director Leo, so do your work, okay? Go do your work. Uh. Hurry up, go do your work. I need to make a phone call. Can you please go do your work? Can you disappear for a while? Hey, Dad. Hey, I, I can't come for dinner tonight. I have a surgery. Okay? I'll be pretty late. You eat first. Alright? Okay. I'll go back as soon as possible. You don't have surgery tonight. Why did you lie to your dad? I lied for his own good. Do you understand? You must tell the wedding company. It must be special. Right. Must be special. I want everything. Right, right. Flowers, music, I want everything. Right. Mm. Right, and the food. The food. Uh, the food doesn't need to be luxurious. Uh, but it has to be creative. Right, classic and elegant. Do you understand? Okay, mm. that's it for now. Bye-bye. Mm. Mm. Bye. Which director are you inviting for dinner? For a little roll, you have to do all this? You are just heartless. I'm planning for your wedding. I have some good news. Everything is settled for your wedding. Really? Uh, of course. Let me tell you, Hwama, this is the most important thing in my life. Please make sure there's no accidents, okay? It must be perfect. Trust me. Oh, yes. And there's one more thing. Uh, if you really want it to be perfect, you and I are not enough. You mm -hmm. have to go back home and talk to your Xiaomi and ask her to cooperate. No, 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 no way of that. Don't, I'm, I'm telling you, never give her anything important. Hey, she yo. is capable of any kind of accident. Stop it. She doesn't need to do much. Just follow instructions. Just let her do that. I can tell her. I can tell her, but how to cooperate? I can't. You gotta let me know first, otherwise I'll be worried Listen to death. To me. so calm. It feels like I'm the one getting married. I chose this occasion for you. There's gonna be a lot of hot girls. Where are you gonna find a friend like Cut me? Cut it short. I like your Xiaomi. Will you really give her to me? Keep dreaming. In front of a single lady, you can't, you're gonna say something like that? That's just crazy <laughs> what you're saying. All the uh, stuff. Let's talk business. Yeah, yeah, hurry up. Uh -huh. Tomorrow, our big show will formally kick off. According to my plan, you two will move and sleep there. Where are we sleeping? <sighs> The wedding venue, of course. Just listen to me. The venue is too far. And you two have to get up early and do hang makeup on, in the hang morning. Hang on, hang on, My dad is home. I have to go home. If I don't go home, my dad's gonna look for I me. You would worry. I got an excuse yeah. for you. You tell him today is the weekend. So uh -huh. you can tell him that... Wait. It's the weekend now. Uh. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> Just funny. <laughs> today is the weekend. You tell your dad. You tell him... Tonight, you and Xiaomi will hang out in the suburbs. Then tomorrow, I will continue my plan, following your lie. Okay? What about what about the guest list, you know? Right, right, right. right. The, the guest. About the guest. I've called every one of them on your guest list. Uh-huh. What about your side? It's all done. See? Educated people are just effective. Then... 
Everything is ready now. What is ready? What if my mom won't go and his dad won't go? Trust me, your mom, your dad, the two most challenging problems are the focus and priority of this perfect plan of mine. I prepared what to say to them. They'll be there. <laughs> oh. hey, 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 hang on, hang on, let me think, let me think. Did we miss anything? Uh, it's, uh, let me think. <gasps> oh. What if my dad and her mom doesn't go? Oh my goodness. There is no what if. Let me tell you this. If they refuse to go, I will kidnap your dad. She will kidnap your mom. They will be there no matter what. Do better now? <laughs> You're such a good friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it? It's so early. Let me sleep. Oh. Uh, uncle, how are you? You look familiar. I'm Xiaomi and Jinan's friend, Hua Mao. Oh, we've met before. Yeah. Yes, we've yes, met yes, before. Yes, yes, yes. Come in, come in, come in. Sorry to bother. I know it is still very early. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Have a seat. Uh, I have no time up? for sitting now. Uncle, please don't sit either. Uncle, something terrible happened. What's happened? Xiaomi and Jin Liang went to the suburbs. And they got food poisoning. They're in the ICU in the hospital. Hurry up! Let's go now! Food poisoning? Ah. Uh, Which hospital? Uh... 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 A hospital in Huayro. Which restaurant was it? Just a family hotel. I know Huayro very well. No, 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 no. You're lying to me. Aren't you? Don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. Uh, 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 uncle, you're really smart. Uh, <laughs> tell me. Yes, I think I'd better tell you the truth. But please do not tell Xiaomi's mom. Okay, out with it. Here's the case. I, I planned a wonderful and exquisite wedding for Xiaomi and Jin Liang. Xiaomi says she really wants you to be there. You know, Xiaomi's mom and Jin Liang's dad always have this and that problem with the wedding. I'm afraid they would not attend it. So I made up this lie, so all of you will be there oh, for I them. I see, I understand. Uh, Those two and I are totally different people, you see. I'm totally uh, open-minded. Don't uh, worry, I wouldn't dream of missing my daughter's reception. Understand? Oh my god, if I know you're so open-minded, I would not have lied to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I will send the address to your cell phone then. Okay, okay, no problem. It's running late. I have to go lie to them now. Well, wait, I wait, wait. When you go and lie to Xiaomi's mom, do it more naturally. Don't be so dramatic. More naturally. Right, right. Right, right, right. Thanks, Uncle. Thanks, You're welcome. Thanks. She couldn't tell anyway. Go, go. All right. Uncle, please dress formally. Okay. Of course. I'll put on my Armani. Trust me. Okay, okay. Bye, Uncle. Bye-bye. <sighs> this is good. This is good. Why do they call him Hua Miao? Does he look like a cat? Lin Lin! It's too busy. It's too casual. Why is too busy? It's a big brand. Luxury brands are what? It's covered in animals. Don't assume luxury brands are all good. It's all covered in bears and birds. What kind of luxury brand is that? You don't get it at all. Oh, it's, not a, it's not suitable. It's not appropriate. Go change it. It's too expensive. I need to tell you. Oh, come in, come in. Uh, auntie, what auntie. happened? What's it, the matter? It, well, uh, uh. Jin Liang and Xiaomi went uh. out to have fun. And then uh, they... I know about it. Uh, don't be too worried. Uh, what happened? Not a big deal. They, uh. they uh. ate something improper and uh. got food poisoning. Uh. Uh, don't worry, Where don't worry. Where are they now? Uh, in the hospital. They're in, in the hospital. Under control. Under Let's control. go. Take me to uh, the hospital. Auntie, auntie. What? Uh, uh, well, 
Won't you change your outfit? No one will look at me. Let's hurry. Auntie, auntie. Huh? Uh, I really think you should change. Otherwise, you might regret it. Ay, yo, why would I regret? Let's go now. I will regret it by change. Please, please, please listen they to me. They need me by please their change. side. Is your car parking downstairs? Yes, it's downstairs. Uh, uh... Auntie, no need to run this fast. Which gate? Uh, that gate, that gate. Why the west gate? It's too far. Oh, yeah. uh, what are you running for? Xiaomi is sick. She's in hospital. What? Xiaomi is sick? You need a man to be there for you. No, thanks. Believe me, you really need a man to be there. Huh? What about this one, huh? Is it okay? Uh -huh. What are you staring at? Well, uh, it looks better, but you look fantastic in that. Really, really, I mean it. But it's not right for this occasion. It would be fine if the two of us were going together. I mean, you understand? What are you thinking about? I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding. It's really, really not appropriate for today. It's a little bit too, uh, it reveals too much of you. If we were alone together, I mean, I'd love you to wear that for me. Fine. I suggest that you go and change it to something a little more colorful. Like the red one or the, or the green one. Bride, it's a okay? happy day, it's a happy day. We're supposed to be cheerful. Just, just change one more just time wait. for me, okay? Good. That's good. Very sexy. <laughs> you want elegance? That's it. You look so elegant. When you go out with me, you should look affluent. Now this dress, much classier than those luxury brands covered in animals. You're gonna Stop knock them dead. You're gonna look just like British nobility. <laughs> <laughs> Come, escort me. Driver, we must follow that car in front of us. Do not let them run away from our side. Look at their license plate and remember the numbers. Xiaomi has never liked such places since little. When she was in primary school, I asked if she wanted to go to the mountains. She said, no, I hate going to that place. It must be Jin Liang who dragged her here and took her to eat country food. Was he nuts? No way their food was clean. No doubt they got sick. Uh, auntie, please calm down. Their symptom is under control now. Why, right, they're now. What if they were not? There's no hospital in the mountains. What if they caught diarrhea? Uh, and a high fever. What then? Wouldn't it be dangerous? Uh, yeah. My son always likes to stay at home. Coming this far, just to have dinner? This has got to be Xiaomi's idea. Bye-bye. It was all Xiaomi's idea. Satisfied? Jina wasn't involved. He was forced to go with her. All right? I just don't understand why they came all the way here. Uncle, Uncle, we're almost there. We're almost there. Almost there. They should never have bought the car, I'm telling you. Without the car, they'd never made it this far. You have to follow that car tightly. Will you please not let them lose us? If you lose them, I will be very, very mad. Hmm. Yeah. Shuva never listens to me for such a big thing. She really needs a man to be for her. so many people here. What kind of Whatever's place is going there? on? Huh? Is this the hospital? Yes, they're up there. Both of them. Uncle Auntie, please wait for a moment. I'll inform them. Auntie, ah, yeah. ah, mm -hmm. what I wait for? Uh, oh, where are they? Oh, ah, follow me. This way. Are they at this hospital? Yes, yes, yes. Hey, be careful. What is this place? Watch out, watch out. 
How come there's a band? Listen to it. It's beautiful, right? Sorry. Auntie and uncle, I can't lie to you two anymore. Ah. <clears throat> Today is Jin Liang and Xiaomi's wedding day. Quick, quick! Dad? Ah? Auntie, let's go too. Xiaomi's waiting for you. What on earth right is up happening? There. Huh? Oh, be careful! Why did you some of it's you just tell over there. The Slow down a bit. Slow down a bit. of love, and decorated by the glove of blissful life, a new couple, hand in hand, oh, heart to heart, is walking towards us. At this moment, two loving hearts have finally come together. <laughs> At this moment, two people who love each other finally harvest their love. Now, let's applaud and congratulate them. Let's give our sincere wishes to the new couple. Let's start the first item of the wedding. Bride and groom's parents will make toasts on the stage. First of all, let's welcome the groom's father. Please come to the stage. Welcome! <laughs> successful! So successful! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm very happy today! That, 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 that. Uh, over there, over there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that today I'm overjoyed. I'm still trying to get my head around this. It was a surprise. A big surprise to me. I wasn't prepared for it at all. <laughs> I'm telling you, at the very beginning, I wanted the wedding to be held at the mine back in our hometown. But the plan never materialized. I thought maybe the wedding would never happen. But I did not expect that this morning, I'd be dragged down here to find my son's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a very beautiful sunshine wedding, and I'm very, very proud of my son. Let's give them a round of applause. I'm telling you, our ancient Qing family used to live in Beijing in the olden days. Our ancestors were actually Beijingers. My son is a very good boy. Yeah. He studied in Beijing. He now works in Beijing. And he's marrying a Beijing girl. Just wonderful. <laughs> Everything is just wonderful. Ah, uh, let's applaud again. Come on, let's do it. Thanks for the passionate and, like to and say... excellent speech made by the groom's father. It's enough, Uncle. Da, da, da. Now, let's welcome bride's parents onto the stage and toast. Let's welcome them. Yeah, 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 that was you amazing. You go there and take a seat. <laughs> Just to sit there for a rest, please. No worry, no worry. Me first, no, me first. Move away, I'm oh, not oh, finished oh, yet. No, I'm you first, sit first. first. Uncle, no, no, uncle, please. No, no, I'm first. Please. Okay, okay. okay. Get him, God! Why are you first? I'll keep it short. You'll get your turn. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> uh, dear, uh, <clears throat> dear family and friends, and colleagues and neighbors and ladies and gentlemen, Good morning! Today's wedding is an exciting surprise. I'm very ecstatic. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for helping the happy couple put on this wonderful wedding reception. You kept the secret well. You almost got me. But since I'm too smart, I saw right through it. Unlike someone who was easily fooled. <laughs> 
here all. At this moment, I'm standing here flooded with memories. How time flies so fast. My little girl is a grown woman now, getting married. Oh. I'm okay. I'm just a little emotional. I'm okay, I'm okay. Applaud, applaud. I'm holding back the tears. They're just lingering in my eyes. Dear family and friends, it is said that a daughter is like a warm woolen coat. I've taken care of her since she was a baby, bathed her and fed her. Hey, when did you feed her and bathe her? Can you talk honestly? All right, all right, all right. All right. Sorry, I made a mistake. Her mother took care of her, but I gave her psychological guidance. I taught her the important things about life. And look at my girl now. She's just like me. And not just only in appearance. She has a fine mind, just like mine. Smart and wise. And look at this great reception. Must have been her idea. Do you agree? Are you done now? These two have been born in good times. When we got married a few decades ago, Jin Liang's dad, you remember that. We just invited a few family and friends. We just sat around and ate a few simple dishes, and guess what we ate? Pig's head. Pig's head meat. Pig ear. Pig tongue. Pig intestines. Pig lung, kidney, and heart. Who ate all that crap with you? No, 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 no don't mention our wedding. Truth? We were just a couple of fools back then. I had a good disposition like I do today, not like a mother who's a little uglier than she is now. It's true, it's true, it's horrible. <laughs> But we can't blame the times, right? What I want to say is that you guys are born in good time. I'll be finished in a minute. I want to give you my best for a lifetime of happiness. I make sure you give me some grandkids as soon as possible, okay? Are you down now? Wait, 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 wait. I have the last thing to say. Best wish to you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Dad. <laughs> my girl. Uh, I say a few words. I'm not happy with what Mi Fan just said about us. I know it's my daughter's wedding day, but I can't help it. He said he took care of our girl. He fed and bathed her. Actually, he didn't tell you the truth. When Mi Fan and I got divorced, Xiaomi was only six. It was a winter when we got divorced. It was snowing hard that day, wasn't it? The snow on the ground was as thick as this. I said, why don't we get it done today? He said, fine. Then we got divorced. From that day to this very day. I've been caring for my girl. Has it been easy for no, me? Let's, let's talk about happy things. Why can't I say the truth? Don't stop it. My ex-wife's a little emotional. Please give us some encouragement. This is a wedding. Let's be happy. Let's <laughs> She's be happy. happy. She's happy. <laughs> I'm okay. Happy. I'm very happy. Very happy. <laughs> happy. Happy. Please forgive me. On my daughter's wedding day, I'm a little emotional. She's not highly educated. Please forgive her. Forgive Who her. is not highly educated? <laughs> Tell me. Who are you talking about? If you don't stop, I will stop fighting. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is the very reason why I couldn't live with him. He's mean and hateful. Do you know the occasion? It's our daughter's wedding. Can we talk about something else? Be happy. happy. Let's Everybody be happy. Be happy. Yeah. There's one more thing I have to say to you. The reason why I dress like this today is that I have my intention. I truly believe in our lives, you put on a gown, a wedding gown, only for one day, once in a lifetime. You can't dress every day like a rich lady's poodle. Does it make sense to you? What? Wearing expensive clothes doesn't make you smarter, am I right? I believe life should be down to us. A person should be realistic about his life. Where we live, we just eat well, drink well, and sleep well. That's why I'm in my sleeping gown. I just want to wish my girl eat well, drink well, sleep well. Uh, many thanks to you two for your touching speeches. Uh, at this moment, the ceremony part of the wedding has finished. Please go to the dining hall to eat. Okay, everybody, I, I have an announcement to make. In future weddings you might attend, please don't wear pajamas. Be more formal. It's none of a business. Uh, auntie, Step auntie. aside, oh, would you? Oh, I don't strange. want to wear bed sheets and like auntie, someone. Auntie. It's auntie. disgusting. Uh, hey. Let's move to the dining hall. Wait, Let's go. Wait. 
Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, why are you here? I have some words to say. <laughs> oh, yo, what does it have to do with you? Go home. We're going let's to go, eat go, now, go. Uncle Wu. Yeah, I am go. Uncle Wu. <laughs> yeah, I have been watching Xiaomi's growing up. When she moved to our community, I thought she was so beautiful. She often slept at my home. Suddenly, she is a big girl now. Look how beautiful she is now. But she is not as pretty as her mom. <laughs> I'm telling you. Eh? What? You are leaving? Eh? Mom, you were oh, wonderful today. today. Such a success. <laughs> Don't touch me. Oh, that dress is amazing. The design was exquisite. Uh, yeah, yeah, and the speech you made, it felt like you were prepared for My it. My mom's speech, <laughs> really. It was amazing. I was so moved by your speech. <laughs> <laughs> Look at mom's nails, they match your dress. <laughs> she was uh, the most uh, uh, beautiful woman stop there. It. You were the most. Stop it. Ah. Uh, eh, uh, Xiaomi, you tell me. Since the day you and Ji Liao entered this door, is there anything you think that makes me happy? Can you name one single thing that is pleasant? Or anything you think that makes me relieved and cheerful? Nothing. Isn't it right? What did I do? What can I do with it? Huh? Can I hear you? You're too precious to me. Can I leave you alone forever? Impossible. Then what can I do? Suck it up. I have to bear all the pains to suck it up. Mom, don't. Well, there's one thing. Uh, can you tell me who informed your dad and Wang Lingling? Was it you? No, 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 it's not me. No, no, no. You. It wasn't me. Then who did it? Someone must have told them, right? If no one told them, uh, why would Wang Lingling dress like that? Huh? Ayo, I can't bear her anymore. Eh? It was my daughter's wedding. But look at the way you dress. Does it have anything to do with you wearing a yellow gown? gigantic flower hat. Look at your ridiculous slippers with outrageous heels. Aren't you afraid of breaking your ankles? If so, you deserve it. I wish you broken ankles, completely broken. Eh, do you think you're a queen? Huh? Y you marry me fun, right? Aren't you She's gross? So are you intended to make everyone think you're a superstar? You are just a really bad northeastern over the hill amateur singer. You think you can really sing? Can you sing My Heart Will Go On? That silly Dion song. It's more than you can handle. Why do you keep singing it wherever you go? My heart will go up. Hey, can't believe it. Hey, I'm confused. Who got married, huh? Your daughter or my daughter? Why are you overexcited? Ooh, good boy, you wanna get on stage? Gada, gada, gada. We were her parents. Why did you step? I can't believe you wanted to go up there. I pa, rolled my eyes on you, so what happened? You had to step back right away. What were you thinking, really? You. Where are you going? Come back, both of you! Wow, hey, sis. pride and sis. groom are back. <laughs> Dad, they're back. Hey, Dad, <laughs> what'd you think of the wedding? Was it good? Good, very, very yeah, good. Yeah, very good. <laughs> yeah, very good. Oh, Dad, you were amazing on stage. <laughs> Seriously, you were, you were just. Yes, this is beautiful. It's such a beautiful day, a beautiful wedding for my son. <laughs> <laughs> dad, Dad, your speech was the best. I mean it. You look like the president. The way you stood in front of everybody and you talked to them like that. Yes. But we're at home now. You can relax, you know? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but there's one regret. Uh -huh. Although you invited some people from the mine, I still feel it wasn't enough. I thought there would be at least 70 or 80 of them. Dad, don't worry. We had a cameraman who recorded everything in photos and videos, and they'll burn it onto a DVD, you know? Make can... copies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Right, right. Hey, Xiaoliang, you have me to thank for. All these people from the mine, I invited them. There were so many times I wanted to tell Dad, and I almost did a few times, but I kept my mouth shut. You made everything possible, sis. I just found out something quite interesting about your sister. Uh -huh. She never can hide any secret. But this time, how did you do it? That's because Xiaoliang is my baby brother. 
<laughs> I have such a wonderful sis. This is the first time she's gone low profile. Your sister, low Get out profile. Here. <laughs> Xiaomi, today you and Xiao Liang had a really wonderful wedding. A huge weight is now taken off my chest. From now on, I hope you two will love and take care of each other. We'll work very hard and live a peaceful life, okay? Remember, you must treat your mom well. Treat your mother-in-law well. Her life is not easy. Yes. Of course, you need to treat me well too. Yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pops. Is there something else you want to say? You want to say to them? What is it? Ask them to give you a grandchild. Of course. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's taken as right. <laughs> yes, yes. Hurry up. It's your responsibility. Yes, 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 yes. Remember, did you hear that? All right, I'm going to make dinner now. Okay. Oh, great. Such a great day. Dad, let me help you. Well, we'll introduce this at dinner. Very soon, very soon. Hey, listen to me. I knew about it, but I really couldn't tell yeah, you. Yeah, that's, that's right. But now all of you have eaten her candies. You have to give her a present. <laughs> you wanted to give us a surprise, huh? Hey, 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 what's going on? What are you doing here? Muban, Muban, this is for you. This is my wedding candy. You got married? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I... Is that the doctor you married to? Did you change another? <laughs> It's him. Who else could it be? Mm, Xiaomi. I'm so disappointed. You got married. Such a big thing. You didn't even tell me. Well, Muban, I have my reasons. Don't worry. Next time, I promise I'll invite you. What? Next time? You want to marry again? No. No, no. I mean, I mean, when I invite everyone for dinner, I'll invite you too. Mm, that's more like it. OK, OK. Everybody sit down. Don't stay like trees. <laughs> hey, 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 I announced that since today Xiaomi got married. It's a happy day. I'll give you two minutes rest during work time. <laughs> hey, since you wonderful. have got married, I have to say something. You young people are not serious about marriage. Your attitude is very wrong. Huh? You should listen to me because I have a successful marriage. That's right, yes. My wife and I have been married for more than 20 years. And we always take care of each other, respect each other, and love each other. In entertainment circles, couples like us are really rare. I'm not lying. <laughs> exactly. It's so hard to find a husband as good as you. I'll talk to my husband when I get home, and I'll tell him you are the one to learn from.
原爱，要唱下去。相亲相爱，相信你，天塌下来你成全，有苦有笑有甜蜜，幸福全靠。